Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Magical Mischief Tour, the final episode. I've picked another pack to play after this one, so we're going to be wrapping things up. Uh, I've been uh, kind of messing around with this one, kind of prolonging it for quite some time, and I've really been enjoying it, uh, especially since, you know, I helped make it. But uh, I think it's time we kind of bring this to a conclusion. So I figure uh, we're going to do so by making the uh, the Spellweaver set as well as uh, an arcane crown and then we're going to go through a whole bunch of mini bosses and bosses from greek fantasy to kind of finalize things so to start with um you probably notice i've got a whole lot of waypoints all around me like a lot Let, let's take a look at the map look at all these waypoints you're probably wondering what are all these waypoints for valen well <laughs> they're all well springs I've been doing a lot of wellspring searching in order to find the required amounts so that I can craft this armor. I have to say, it was a bit frustrating <laughs> to try and find these because a vast majority of them were water uh, just about everywhere. But I did find some that I uh, also could use because arcane was the one that I really needed. I needed like a, a max of, of 40 arcane. So I'm going to shut these off. Oh. That's so much better. And uh, now I can actually look around without having all these like points everywhere. So as you've noticed, I did kind of like fancy this up a little bit as well. I made it appropriate for the different uh, conduits that I have, like fire, wind, ender, uh, let's see, earth, water, and of course, arcane, which, oh man, finding enough arcane was really a pain. Uh, but uh, it's, yeah, I've got most of the ingredients that I actually I've got like more than the ingredients that I need over here. But let me show you what the process entails. Grab a couple of these. I do need a bit of this in order to make, first and foremost, the motes of magic, the, the greater motes, not these little tiny ones like this. So I've got a couple books uh, here and one regular small moat. Then I sneak right click with an empty hand. Then I'm going to get a bird's eye view so that I can see this going on. And we can watch down below everything that happens while it makes one of these greater moats, which is actually really cool. It's a nice process and just in general. The particle effects in this mod just never cease to amaze as things progress. And this is still an older version and has a lot of outdated textures and stuff. But with this in mind, there we go. I've got a greater mode of magic, which I've already got several. And I think that... It gets me the five that I need for the armor set. Uh, I've got some regular mage robes. And I've got two more that I've already made for the arcane crown, which is just made on a regular uh, mana weaving altar. Now, a bunch of these do require nether stars and stuff, but as we went to the castle in the sky, I've got quite a supply of those, and that's not a, a problem anymore. There was a bunch of arcane runes that needed to be made, some runes of defense, silk and thread, and I need a chainmail set and a magehood set, and... Yeah, there's lots of stuff, and just some random enchanted book as well, apparently. Uh, I have yet to actually use that. But we're going to start off with, uh, let's go with the boots, shall we? So when I look up the recipe, it shows that there are six different items in order to make the Spellweaver, uh, you know, boots. Plus, I need at least 25 arcane energy being pulled from the wellsprings and 10 wind energy being pulled from the wellsprings. So that's not a problem anymore. I've got enough of those currently hooked up. All right, that should be enough of the items. Oh, and when I look this up in the book, apparently I've got things a little bit mixed up. I don't put all six of them around. The uh, the mage armor in each case is going to have to go in the middle, which does kind of make sense now that I think about it. Where did I put those boots? There we go. Now when I click this, and then I can jump up to my uh, bird's eye view spot for farting, and then watch the fireworks from there. That's just so cool. All right, so I now have some Spellweaver boots, which admittedly, they don't give much armor. But not to worry, I went through my different relics that I had and I kind of rearranged stuff. So I now have one that gives me a whole bunch of extra armor. I switched out my break ring because I really haven't been breaking much. And I have my pickerang, which has Fortune 5 on it now, so I'm, I, I can break things pretty easily. If I really need to, I can just switch out the ring. But I've got these that give me uh, strength and more armor, and, well, they just happen to have some other nice stuff on there. Uh, I don't have my damage reduction anymore, but I figure, you know what, we'll just kind of live life on the edge with the six hearts that I've been going with. 
And then for the next part, we're going to do the leggings. Yeah, you can see the recipe on the side there. Uh, it's not too much more difficult than the boots were. And there we go. The next set is complete, which gets me two of the four pieces. Spellweaver robes actually require quite a lot in comparison to everything else, but it does offer the most, you know, protection on there, I guess, it, which isn't very much considering that it's the same as chainmail armor. But uh, I should be able to manage this without much problem. I realize now I actually don't need that extra pedestal. I removed it because uh, I was looking at this recipe here in JEI, which shows that there are nine slots in place. And in fact, that's incorrect. If I look at the book here, there's actually only eight because, of course, the mage robes go in the middle. Uh, but anyway, let's get this done. And there we go. Three pieces done out of four. Now to just do the last one, the mage hood being upgraded. And there we have it, our final piece of armor. So with this in mind, let's strip away the old stuff, put on this new stuff, and oh wow. Doesn't that look fancy? All right, that's that's pretty impressive if I do say so myself with the spinny stuff around my head. Um, the the kitty slippers kind of throw it off a little bit. But still, let's test a few things out here. I understand that my mana regen is going to be increased considerably. So if I use this... Wait, my spell, it's... My mana isn't even going down. Hold on, hold on a second here. Let, let's take this off again. Try this without any kind of, you know, mana benefit. So I've got no armor on in place. You can see I'm doing 24 damage and there goes my power. My mana is dropping rapidly. So when I put these back on, my mana, in fact, is increasing. Okay, then. So does that mean that I can just keep increasing this a whole bunch? Let's put this up to 15 and see what happens. Finally, the the magic the mana is dropping, but only just barely. Holy cow! And then it goes back up as soon as the the spell is done. Wow, that that is so intense. All right, let's try that. Oh wow, I can't even cast this fast enough. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty powerful uh, setup here. All right, so I've got some 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 lightning spells that are doing forty eight damage per pop, and I've got my my. Fire beam that does a constant 36, which actually I could probably could probably change that too. And I bet you it'd be fine. Yeah, seriously, that's that's fine. Because then when it's done, it recharges before I can recast it again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so th <laughs> that's really good. So this is what I'm going to be using is these magic spells uh, to fight off foes as well as. Oh look, we've we've got one over here. In fact, let's let's give a test run. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Dead. Um. So, the idea here is that I'm only going to be using those plus uh some dragon's teeth. Now, dragon's teeth, if you're not familiar with it, are harvested from bone blocks rarely. So, for to give an example, I had a, a stack of 64 of these just going straight up, and I I harvested it. Even with my uh, like Fortune 5 Picarang, which didn't make any difference at all, uh, and harvested the entire stack of 64, and I got two of these. So sometimes I got more, sometimes I got about the same, but I don't think I ever got less than two from a, a stack of 64. But, I mean, enough times, and I got 37 of these. So I have a bunch of these little warriors that I can summon, and they're really cool how they work. Let's see if I can actually go over here. Uh, there's a mad cow. They're not like fantastic, you know, like or anything, but you just first you summon one. They're supposed to come up out of the ground, which is a little bit of a glitch there, but then they'll just start attacking mobs that are hostile to you. Okay, so we're going to need to deal with that. That That's a bit of a problem. Um, yeah. Oh, hi. Welcome back. Thanks for protecting me, bud. Um, so I'm going to need to work on that armor thing. Uh, go and grab my stuff, get myself a, another set of wings, and then I think we need to enchant that armor lickety-split. Uh, Alright, that's much better, having a, at least a, a small amount of 
enchantability on here. Oh, okay. So what I might do is take some of the stuff that's on... Oh, I just put it all in the inventory system. Some of the uh, armor here. I might take some of these. Let's see, I've got projectile protection. I've got regular protection, which I can strip off of one. And then I don't have any blast protection. And I'm kind of thinking, since I don't have any high levels of it, I might as well just put like blast protection on the other two pieces and keep protection and projectile protection on the first two. Um, and then I'm not kind of messing around too much. So I am going to need to take it off of these pieces here. And then I'm making a bunch more. Actually, I might as well just put them all in there. Uh, I'm making a bunch of blooks so that I can, you know, take the uh, enchants off of some of this armor. Let's start with, yeah, this one here is a good one. There we go. Nothing left on that armor at all. And there we go. Projectile or protection 10. So that's a good start. And I do notice that this stuff doesn't automatically repair like the other armor set. But it does seem to have a lot more durability or else it, you know, it would have broken by now or taken a lot more damage. So I think, actually, let's see. Will this repair? Yeah. Yeah, it repairs. It's definitely got a lot more durability or else it wouldn't. It wouldn't be in there for so long as it is. So that that's cool. Oh no, you're expiring. It's nothing to do with it being daytime. It's just they've got like a timer. If they haven't died, they'll just eventually take just start taking damage and dying. So it's kind of sad, but you know, it's also applicable. So I'm going to get this stuff enchanted up. You know the process. I've done this many times with different sets of armor. Maybe get rid of that uh, death waypoint over there. To, nobody needs to see that anymore. And uh, then we'll start working our way through some of these little mini bosses and work our way into some of the bigger bosses and probably bust through them with a lot of ease is what I'm kind of guessing. There we go. And I think I've got a complete set now. And yes, I've got my, my rainbow hair going on. But uh, we've got this one with Blast Protection 4 and this one with Blast Protection 4. I've got a bit of thorns on there, a bunch of unbreaking and then using mana boosty stuff, which doesn't really affect us. It's more for Ars Nouveau. But uh, I also have my protection and projectile protection. I, f I feel a little bit better now. Um, I also have my armor bars maxed out as before with the, uh, the runes that I have, but I still am missing one part, an arcane crown, which is going to require all these things in a mana weaving altar. Let me go get that set up and then we can complete this, uh, well, set. So the arcane crown, if you're not familiar with it, it, it is kind of like a, a trinket there, but it, it's imbued with tremendous power, of course. Uh, allows you to cast spells more efficiently, so I'm guessing that I'll have even more regen or maybe spells are at a discount. I don't know. Uh, it also draws in ambient magic, so I'm guessing I regen faster, allowing a larger reservoir of mana. Okay, more mana then. Uh, finally, it's rumored that it can occasionally protect its wearer from debilitating effects, but only every so often. And I'm a fan of that. This crown can only be crafted by those who have allied themselves with the ancient council of wizards. And that's me. So now I just need to do some symbols, and I've got it. There we go, one magic crown. Let me just empty out my hand. Got it. And I should be able to just put this here. Nice. And it, it obviously is not visible, even if I turn this on or off. I already have a magic glowy crown, so, I mean, what else am I going to need here? But let's take a look at this. So, am I doing more damage? No, the damage is about the same as what it was before, which is fine with me. That That's still really impressive. Uh, I do, however, need to see how I'm going to fare against foes. Here's one. How you doing? You're going to attack me. And I, I died instantly. Okay, here's the problem. I'm still wearing the glass hand. Still <laughs> still wearing the glass hand. Okay, now let's try that without taking quintuple damage uh, when these guys hit me. Will I be able to... Yay! Okay, I don't just die instantly. Of course, that that's not this guy. You gonna hit me? Come on. That's much better. Okay, I got hit for one point of damage and I'm stunned. That's fine. I'll just zap you and you and everything dies. Okay, cool. Oops. I didn't want to adjust that. But th this will make it a little bit more interesting at least because, I mean, heck, it's a magic pack and I want to do magic. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I do need to pick an area that we're going to be uh, messing around with this. But before I do that and show you all what that's about, um, I have, here it is, while I was flying around on, you know, looking around for all the different things 
on the world, <laughs> finding the wellsprings, I did find uh, gigants, which oh, I only have one head so far. Huh. Either way, I, it took me forever to find one. They're in the mountains. And uh, I, I did end up getting one, but there's also cyclops in the mountains as well. So it's just very rare. And I poked one with a DNA sampler. And there's a chance, 65% chance. Why am I not getting any? I mean, I got this by killing one. So you'd think I'd have one by now. Considering that's a chance of 15%. All of these are chances of 15%. Huh. Oh, requires the lightning upgrade. Ah, there's a lightning cage upgrade. I totally forgot about this. Oh, crud. That That's going to be a little bit of, of a, a conundrum there. So I think we're going to end up uh, skipping out on the uh, the Garion boss. But if you do want to do this, this is how you'd end up uh, progressing with it. You just get some more redstone wire that's been, you know, kind of upgraded with a little bit of iron. Some electron tubes from Create, a little bit of immersive engineering, and a silver rod just so that this works. So yeah, it was one of the recipes that we changed up for the pack, but it's also so that you can, you know, progress a little bit more, have a little bit more interest in cross mod uh, compatibility. Okay, you can hold that because I'm not, I, I don't like those death waypoints anymore. That's much better. All right, you you keep an eye on on that. That thing that I'm, I'm no longer going to be like one shotting like the Ender Dragon with my attacks, I don't think. Oh, and I don't have any more wings. I need, I need to get another set of wings. Well, I still have a couple of fire wing bottles left, so there we go. Now I can fly again. Yay! All right. Actually, wait a second. I can fly. I forgot I'm wearing the freaking wizard armor and I can fly around like this. Oh my gosh. Just like a... It's, Almost like I'm in creative flight, but because I've got like speed on there, going up and down is very slow, but because I've got um, the speed enchantment on here, I think it's what, speed three? Whenever I try running, I move much faster. Otherwise, it would be very slow, like this. And this is me going up and down. It, it is rather slow compared to creative flight, but holding down control makes me run, and with that speed enchantment, I can go much faster. Uh, and then... Of course, if I want to, I can also fly with my wings, which is just going to be much, much faster for getting around with and just much prettier. All right, I'm leaving my Merid here. You stay with all these items. I'm not really going to be needing them anymore since this is the farewell in the pack. But with that in mind, I now have a freed up gem and I can go into the nether. Why do I want to go into the nether? Well, for a mini boss, actually. This is actually what I'm looking for right here, though not a baby version. I, I wanted the full size one. Um, we're going to see about busting you out of here, kiddo, and taking you with us. I don't know if a baby will work, but we'll find out. Oh, you know what? There's a big one over here, so we're going to let the baby go and take the big one instead. So there you go, and you can come with us. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'm out of here. I don't I don't need your, your help for this. Okay. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> so what we're going to do is bring this one back to the overworld. And we all know that they, that weird things happen when you do that, but uh, that's just the start of it. All right, here we go. I'm going to need a poisonous potato at the very least. Uh, and I'll put away the rest that I don't need in these other blocks that I picked up along the way. And here we go. This looks like a pretty good spot. I mean, we've got our tower over there, but I mean, it's a relatively open field. Good for like, I don't know, maybe like a boss area. So we're going to plonk this guy down, feed him a poisonous potato. There we go. And then he gets big and mean. Let's summon in some of our own warriors here. And maybe they will take care of him. Nice. <laughs> All right, well done, group. What did we get out of this? We got some boar tusks, some boar ears, epic shaders, leather, and a whole lot of raw pork chops. We can make an ivory sword with this, which uh, has attack knockback bonus to it. <gasps> Ooh, and this makes the wand of the swine. Okay. All right, we definitely have to do this. There we go. One wand of the swine. So let's see. I don't even know if this will work on our friends. No. Okay, it doesn't. Well, then I need to find something to work on. All right, here we go. We've got a little willing participant here. Poof. Wand of the swine. <laughs> we now have a musical pig. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. And I don't think... 
I don't think it has a durability. I think, uh, like, I think it just stays a pig until it dies. Like, so if a player gets turned into a pig, then, um, yeah, they, uh, they have to die or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. I don't, I don't remember. But let's move on to a little bit more interesting of, of, uh, bosses to fight. That was just like a mini boss, a little something of interest. And I thought that the, uh, the Skelly Knights would add some, some fun to it. All right, this next one should be a little bit more interesting. At least I would hope so. Just needs a little bit of, oops, of blackstone and some lava, which I did have to go to the nether and grab a few buckets of this. Let's hope that I put them in the right place and not waste the buckets. <laughs> there we go. So far, so good. Then I need to take one of these wall decorations here. Uh, let's grab this one here on the other side of the bed. And then we toss in the head. Oh, geez. And then Cerberus shows up. Too many heads. Nice. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see how my dudes do. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice touch. Oh, you actually summon little ones. All right, well, it seems they're taking care of the ads. They don't care about the mini-boss, though. Oh, and they're actually all on fire. Uh, let's not bring that up. Let's see if my spell does any damage. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that does a lot of damage. <laughs> and they finished it off. <laughs> Nice. Thanks for sticking around, dudes. Uh, I'm sure not. I'm sure you're all probably going to go soon. But I got fiery hide, which can be used for making fire protection books or part of the helm of darkness, which grants invisibility permanently. And then, of course, Stixian shards required for that too. But that's that's a different thing altogether. Next, I'm going to need a bunch of blocks of gold. I believe ten should probably do in this case. And I'm going to need some ichor. Now, I did find some of this in some chests and such uh, earlier on. Actually, let's grab two of those. And I need to make ichor-infused blocks. I'll need a couple of these just for this creation that I'm going to be making here. There we go. A few of those, and I believe one on either side. Oh, and we have a bronze bull, which looks... Pretty impressive. Ow. Pretty impressive. And hits really hard. Oh, I love the animation, actually. It's pretty good. Ah, every time I'm trying to run, I end up opening up the, the spell itself. Can I hit it? Are you immune to magic? Oh, that that's going to be a problem. And I keep opening up the magic. That's not good. Uh, run! Can I take care of... These guys need to be within a certain range. Oh, I hit it. Okay, so it only needs to be hit twice with this spell. The fire seems to really just wreck things altogether. But there we go. Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Epic shader grab bag. Uh, fiery gears. 20 gold ingots back. All right, well, that's not bad. What are the fiery gears used for? Oh, the Achilles armor. That's awesome. Which comes with a bunch of built-in stuff, like, as you see here, projectile protection and Achilles heal, which I'm guessing that there's some chance of you like just instantly being one shot I, I, I'm not entirely sure but that is really cool that you can uh, you know do that or go that route all right this next one will require one of those icker infused blocks and at least six blocks of gold there we go and aha we're making Talos what a cool animation all right oh shoot jeez okay that thing's not kidding around. Uh, do you accept lightning? Why Why do none of them accept lightning? Ooh! That creeper does not like my, uh, <laughs> my slippers, but it's, it's so weird. I mean, lightning should affect him. Apparently I'm immune to his uh, ranged attacks thanks to my different spells and abilities, but I'm guessing you're not immune to my fire beam. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, hey, you're not immune to it either. All right, let's see. What do we got? So we've got more of the epic shader grab bags. Oh, we've got Talos. I don't remove the nail. Defeat the nail. Defeat the Talos. Okay. Um, and then we've got, oh, more of the Icker. Excellent. Six Icker. Okay. And then Talos Heart, which uh, drops from it, but it can be used to make Palladium? Interesting. I can't say that I'm familiar with Palladium. Let's try making him and placing him down and see what happens. Hello. You don't seem to have anything special about you. 
hi. Well, there we go. There's our, our monument for, for defeating all the land bosses. There is at least one or two others um, that I was interested in, uh, one of which was I, was I was hoping to find a leviathan um, or one of those water uh, dragons at, and try and tame those, but it requires it to be raining, and I really don't like it when it rains, so I'm just going to skip that one. But we can go for Charybdis. We just need to find ourselves... Hello, little, little harpy. Uh, we need to find ourselves a whirlpool out in the world. And then we need to corrupt it. Okay, I finally found one. Uh, I did do a lot of searching. I was I searched all of these oceans. I searched all of these oceans. And I ended up finding one finally way over here. And this is a whirl. Um, this is actually what we're looking for. Can I please get this back? Thank you. It's still there. Okay, good. And I've got a heart of the sea. And I think... I just toss one of the... Because from above, it just looks like a couple bubbles. Difficult to see. If I toss the... Oh, oh, there we go. Charybdis. Which is this... Wow. Giant sea urchin. I'm like grabbed on something. I can't... I can't seem to move further away. Okay. All right. It didn't hurt. Oh, and it is weak to lightning. Yay! What happens if I get like... Oh, ow. Okay. Yeah, it, it just starts injuring me as I get closer. So... That's really interesting. <laughs> I thought it'd be a lot more scary, but it does look really cool. Ow! Ow! I can't get away! I can't get away! Okay. Nice. Let's see if I can get, like, a bird's eye view. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I thought I could zap it. Oh, okay. Whew! That was kind of close. I was like, alright, I could just zap this thing. Wow, it just drops a whole bunch of loot, doesn't it? Oh, and I forgot. Because I've got my wings out, I bounce on water. <laughs> I've got so much junk in my inventory. Let me clear this out. I did get a bunch of, like, fish and nuggets and things like that, but I did get a Heart of the Sea back. I also got a conch, which can be used to make a bag of wind? Do I... Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, no. Magic feather <laughs> you get from a harpy. <laughs> They're the ones that I have decided I'm not going to injure in this playthrough, and so far I've held true to that, and I'm going to stick to it. That's for you guys to uh, explore yourselves and see what the Bag of Wind may or may not do for you. Oh! Oh, hey! Um, I was on my way back. Ow! Okay, this is actually what I'm looking for. This this is a good sign. All right, uh, let me gather myself. Hold on a sec. All right, let's see. We've got Apex Meat. We've got common meat and we've got low tier meat i guess uh looking for specifically ones from the uh the dragon mod oh, oh i'm like flying away in the wrong direction here and i think after it uses its lightning attack um is the only time that i can do this oh and, and it has to be on shore so i gotta get this thing to jump up on shore come here come here you know you want to Come on. This might take some time. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, it's it's on shore. Here. Have have some. No, no. Have some. Have some of this. The, some of this. Ow. I swear I was able to click on it at least once, but I know that it needs to do like a lightning bolt attack. Are you are you gonna zap me? Let's get rid of some of this stuff in the nearby terrain. It seems intent on following me very slowly. But it is a long process to try and get this to work sometimes. Don't you want to zap me with lightning? Come on. Oh, there we go. Here, eat some. <laughs> it did eat one of them. Oh, there it goes again. Oh, did it? Did it work? Did I just get hearts? No, you're still attacking me. Okay. Ow. Ow. Okay, so I got to keep on doing this. Oh. I, th I swear I saw hearts. That doesn't mean that it's tamed, though. Are you my friend? No, you're you're still not my friend. Okay. 
I might have to get more meats at this rate. I don't think that I've got enough. I do need to get far enough away. Okay, so you're eating the foods, but that's not enough. Okay. Do you take cooked versions? Because I accidentally cooked a bunch. All right. You do! Okay. All right. Are you, uh... You're still going to start shouting at me? Wait, are you my friend now? And and yes, I am. I am flying because, you know, armor does that now. Are you are you just eating food or are you trying to hurt me? It's hard to tell. Oh. Oh. I'm, I I did it. It worked. Let's get you back in the water cuz on the land I know that you're you're no good, right? So let's let's do this. Let's take the screen away. And we'll do a little swim. In the thunderstorm. There we go. There we go. Lovely. And I can put my little slippers up. Oh, you you doing a slither through the water? You, you're such a good boy. Such a good boy. Um, I wonder, do I have my dragon staff? Can I actually armor you? Alright, access inventory. I can't I can't put the armor on you. Okay. That's weird. I told you to I told you to stay and you're not staying. You're following me everywhere. What are you doing? You're so cute. You're so cute. Yes, I know you sound like a rusty, like a very large piece of rusty something or other, but let, let's take you on a tour. Uh, the magical mischief tour, one could say. Yes, let, let's just go out for a swim. This is really good. You go really fast in the water, I gotta say. You're you're faster than the uh, sea moth that I have. Oh my gosh, do you take me? Can you take me underwater? <gasps> you can! And... Okay, I do I do lose air, so I could put on like a scuba suit or something. Ouch. What hit me? What was that? Oh wait, I can get you to attack as well? Oh my gosh. And I bet you if there was like a thunderstorm again, which it's already expired, that I could get you to like do some lightning attacks or something. Oh no, those are sirens. I don't want anything to do with those. They're they're rude and mean, and they might hurt you. So let's let's take you back home, shall we? I have a soul gem with a different butterfly leviathan. I actually found a second one, and I was thinking I would take it home, but the thunderstorm happened, and I was like, oh okay. Next thing I know, there was one already on the shore, so I I didn't really need this one. Um, hmm, this isn't the one that I want, so I'm going to put this one over here. Oh. I hope that was the right... I hope I hope this is the, the friendly one. I was just trying to place one. Can I... Can I ride you? Yes. Okay, good. Come here. Get in the gem. Good dragon. Alright, and... There we go. Perfect. Brought everybody home for the family reunion. We got the bebes. We got, we got the, the, the regulars. And then we got... The mamas. Oh boy. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> Can I get you to stay? Stay. And uh, this is your home position. Right, right, right here. Okay. Thank you. You stay there. Oh, you're so cute. You just, you like wound up your, your little flipper wings as well. Oh, hey. Thanks. Thanks for the welcome home. And with that, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, thank you all for joining me on this wonderful journey through a lot of magic mods and a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun making this pack as well. And uh, I know that there's plenty more that could be done, but I think I'm going to leave it as uh, there's plenty more that you can do if you decide to pick up the, uh, the reins on this pack as well. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave you with a little song. And this song was created specifically for this pack by our friend Kitsa the Narrator. And uh, he uh, he made it specifically for here. It's it's a secret Easter egg. You can find it yourself if you so desire. If and uh, if you don't want to spoil it, you can just you know end here. But anyway, thanks again, everybody. We'll see you next time. Magical mystery.